Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm one of the technicians here at Dove Lewis. Today I'm going to be discussing different techniques for trimming a dog's nails. All right, there's two main kinds of nail trimmers we use for dogs here in the veterinary field. Um, one are these that come at each side, and then there's also this more guillotine style that the nail goes into and then it cuts it that way. I personally prefer these ones um, as I can see the nail come through it a little bit better um, and I can check for the quick better that way. Okay, to start here, this dog has some um, clear nails and some dark nails, so we'll talk about techniques for both of them. Um, the clear ones are actually much easier, as you can imagine. You can see the quick line. So right where the pink um, starts, that's basically going to be where that blood vessel is, and so we want to make sure we stay a little bit away from that to avoid um, bleeding and causing the dog any pain or discomfort. Um, Phoebe is a very good patient for this, but if you do have a patient that is less compliant, some tricks are to be um, to have treats in your pocket, let them know that they're there um, so that they th know that they're going to get a, a reward when they're done. So I usually start a little bit farther than maybe I think I should just because I can always go a little bit more, but that way I can gauge um, how the dog is going to react and um, make sure that I'm in the appropriate spot. So I see where the quick comes to a point here, so I'm going to go put my uh, clippers where I can see that I'm still a good little distance away from it before I clip. Um, I usually put a little pressure to get a good hold on it before I actually um, clip them um, in case the dog starts to move away right when I do it. And then just really quick, firm click. And so I took just the tip off. I do have a little bit room to go more so I can again just reposition, go up a little bit farther, same thing, get a good grip and then clip. Now I'm going to demonstrate um, my technique for cutting the pigmented nails. Um, this is um, a little more difficult as you cannot see the quick. You can see it's just opaque all the way here. I can't really see. I'm going to gauge based on my, my um, see-through nails, kind of where the quick is here. When I go to cut the pigmented nail, I'm going to be a little bit more conservative since I cannot see the quick through the nail. So again, I'm going to take just the tip here get my grip and then clip quickly. And now I can check underneath to see if there's any bleeding um, and how well I've done. Okay, so I was able to take the tip of that nail off and not cause any uh, trauma. Um, if you are, if you do happen to cut the nail too short um, and you do get blood, um, there's a couple different options you can use for stopping the bleeding. Um, one that most veterinary practices carry is Quick Stop. It's a styptic powder. Um, basically, it's just little yellow type granules. You can put on some gauze or a Q-tip and just press that up into the spot that's bleeding um, to help stop that bleeding. Um, some methods you can use if you don't have this uh, material or you're at home doing it, um, some unscented plain soap, just scra do a scraping of the nail on the soap. Um, also cornstarch works as an alternative if you don't have this product available. We're going to go ahead and finish cutting the rest of Phoebe's nails, and that's how you perform a dog nail trim.